Here we are in week three of Music Technology Foundations, and this week we're going to be looking at MIDI. Now MIDI, you know, in terms of technology and the way it rapidly develops these days, MIDI is a pretty amazing piece of technology in that it's been with us now for more than 30 years, and it's still a really critical part of the digital audio workstation. If we think about you know, early practitioners of MIDI, you know, there were composers like Morton Sobotnik, Laurie Anderson, and Giorgio Moroder, who spawned entirely new genres of music through the possibilities of MIDI sequencing. And one of those um, genres would be one like electronic dance music, for example. Yeah, that's right. It's a really important development. And you know, uh, a lot of people, though, don't really understand what MIDI is. So they've got an idea that MIDI is like passing audio signals from, say, a synthesizer to a computer or, or to some other gear. But it's not that at all, is it? No, and it's sort of interesting, you know, MIDI was discussed disparagingly in some circles due to its poor quality sound, but really, you know, MIDI doesn't make sound at all, and that reputation really came back to some of the very cheap synthesizers that were built in the 80s and 90s and the sounds that they contained rather than the underlying MIDI technology itself. Yeah, I agree. I always say don't blame MIDI, because after all, MIDI, which stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, M-I-D-I, or MIDI, is just a communication protocol. It's a way of passing information from one synth to another, to a keyboard, to a computer, and connecting all of those uh, things together. And as such, it was an invaluable tool for making music. Well, I think it's interesting about MIDI, and if we think about you know, what we've been discussing uh, in the course over the last couple of weeks, you know, we've been discussing the theories of sort of audio and sound, and audio aims to really directly you know, represent the sound that we're actually you know, hearing, but MIDI draws on quite a different tradition of music and really is much more akin to that of uh, music notation. So if you think about notation, basically, you know, a written score is a set of instructions that's then interpreted by a performer, and we can't really hear that music until that performer performs that interpretation of the music. Uh, yeah, that's uh, absolutely right. And you know, there are lots of different ways in which music can be represented, many different systems. One early system, in the realm of technology is something I'll be looking at in our musical revolutionaries uh, this week. This has to do with the player piano. Now, the player piano encodes music on a brown paper uh, roll with holes punched in it, and these are instructions for a piano to play the music back. As a matter of fact, if you look at the sequences in MIDI programs, you'll see that they very closely resemble uh, the old rolls that were used by player pianos. In fact, they're modelled on them. Yeah, and if, if we think about you know, other kinds of musical representation that we might come across, you know, thinking back to our previous weeks, um, a sonogram, for example, is a very direct form of musical representation. You know, we can see all the different frequencies on a screen um, that make up a sound. Other kinds of musical representation, you know, um, notated music we've just uh, mentioned as being a set of instructions for a performer. But really, in the modern age, even computer code could be a musical representation where, you know, once that code is realised by a computer, it becomes music. Yeah, and the important thing about MIDI, I think, is that it made the ability to create music uh, electronically available to a very wide number of people. I call this the democratisation of the creation of music. Here was something that was a system that was cheap, relatively easy to implement and use, and anybody could use it. So it, it made a tremendous contribution to the development of electronic music. Absolutely. And you know, in our next video, we're going to unpack you know, what MIDI actually is and how it was created in a bit more detail.